Hi, in this video, we'll look at how to create this hamburger animation with Swift UI. So let's get started. You can find this animation from my Twitter profile or download this animation from the GitHub repository. I suggest. Let's preview the animation again. You can see as the user taps on this hamburger menu icon, we transition from the hamburger menu to a close icon with a spring animation. Let's look at how this was created. We create three rectangles of equal width and height. You can see the top rectangle has a width of 120 and a height of 20. The middle rectangle also has a width of 120 and a height of 20. The same as the rectangle, which is the bottom rectangle. We create three state variables to animate each of the rectangles. For the top one, we create a rotation animation. With the middle one, we use the state variable, middle is hidden, to hide the middle rectangle anytime the user taps on the humpbacker main. We also use the state variable, bottom rotates, to rotate the bottom rectangle in the same way as the first rectangle. We embed all the rectangles in a V stack so that they are arranged vertically. Since we want all the rectangles to animate together, we apply the animation modifier to the whole group, which is the V stack containing all the rectangles. And that has this interpolating spring. And we want this animation to be triggered with a tap gesture. So we apply the on tap gesture to the whole V stack, which contains all the rectangles. Anytime we tap on the humpbacker menu, we rotate the top rectangle at an angle of 48. For the middle rectangle, we hide it with an opacity modifier. So anytime we tap, we set the opacity to zero. So you can see the middle rectangle is not seen when the humpbacker menu transitions to a close icon. With the one at the bottom, we just change the direction so that we rotate this rectangle at an angle of minus 48. And with that, we have this beautiful spring animation for the hamburger menu. With this, I'm going to end here, and thanks for watching.